in Meeker County, Minnesota, at the end of August, 180,000 turkeys infected with avian flu had to be killed. Farmers were raising the birds for Hormel's Genio brand, the country's second biggest turkey supplier. The outbreak in the rural community, 70 miles west of Minneapolis, is still ravaging flocks. We've worked really hard, Hormel CEO Jim Snee said during the company's September 1st earnings call. But, clearly, this is still an issue. This year, the flu has killed 44 million birds, including 4. 5 million turkeys, or 2. 5% of you. As turkey production. Coupled with the highest inflation in 40 years, which has hit the meat case at double the rate of other consumer products due to higher feed prices and more expensive fuel, analysts predict Thanksgiving will cost more this year because of the flu-diminished turkey supply. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's most recent data show an alarming low level of turkeys in cold storage, according to investment banker Walter Kunish who tracks the market for HTS commodities. Most turkeys eaten at Thanksgiving are harvested throughout the year and frozen, which is one reason why the virus eight-month-long spread has had such an impact. With 2022 turkey production estimated to be off more than 4% compared with 2021, whole A to 16 pound wholesale prices are expected to rise 23% higher than last year. With the spike in turkey prices we believe that a decline in consumption during the holidays can occur, Kunish, a former economist. That disease has really wreaked havoc on turkey supplies. The average price per pound for turkey at supermarkets and other retailers is now about 60% higher compared than last year, or just under $3 per pound, according to Nielsen IQ data, which scans prices and receipts across the majority of U.S. Meat has been one of the categories most severely impacted by inflation, said Carmen Allison, a vice president and economist at Nielsen IQ. In the last year, meat prices are up an average of 12%, while turkey prices have increased even more minus 14%.